Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell so you never miss any of my daily raw high videos and you stack a B when buying Robux or Premium. Thank you so much to everyone who's been tweeting me or tagging me on Instagram using my star code. I have been sharing it, you guys. If you tag me in your Insta stories and then share it on your stories yourself, as long as I'm tagged, I can then share it onto my story and give you a little shout out. So make sure you do that, you guys. So I can say thank you. Now, Little Beans, I am so excited because as many of you will know, we just recently had an update with new reworks, proving to us that Barbie and the devs are actively working on new reworks for the game and releasing design changes that have been made by the original devs for specific items. Now, there is one item in particular I want you guys to focus on. This reworked item may well be indicating a new update that all of us are going to want to know about and be excited about because it's one that we have been waiting for for a long time. Not the new school, a smaller one, but still, we've been waiting for it. As you guys will know, one of the items that was recently reworked was the sleep mask. Now, you may be wondering why is the sleep mask so important? Well, if you guys hover over it, you'll see it was made by Salty Sheer. And Salty Sheer is the original creator of the magical enchantress skirt. So as you guys may already know, if you go over to your magical enchantress skirt, it doesn't tell you who made it when you hover over it, but it was actually made by Salty Sheer. The Magic Enchantress skirt has for a long time now been very out of date. I'm sure many of you are well aware of that, but some people have been wondering and been quite confident that perhaps since obviously the Sleep Mask rework is here, maybe now that we've got that, we may actually get to see some more reworks by devs such as Salty Sheer coming out in the future. And I have been wondering the same thing because as you guys know, once Barbie has recognized something and therefore is willing to put it in the game, there's a good chance that she's working on working on releasing other parts as well. So one thing I've been thinking a lot about recently, you guys, is the fact that Barbie obviously has been very quiet, but clearly she has been working on some rework. And as you will know, in case you've forgotten, pop some pictures up, the Magical Enchantress Skirt rework was made by Salty Shia quite some time ago now. Now, Shia did actually tweet and say, I have sent the skirt in, we're just waiting on Barbie. So we really are just just waiting to see if Barbie decides to release it or not. But if she's released the reworked sleep mask and of course the reworked Dear Dolly heels and various other things, I see no reason why she wouldn't consider reworking the skirt as well. We all know that a lot of the skirts are now really outdated. In fact, lots of the legacy skirts obviously are no longer used because many of them are just so old looking. I mean, Secret Fairy on Earth is one that we've wanted a rework for for a long time. People have really wanted the ruffle velvet skirts to be redone for a while because they are just really quite boring. They are not the prettiest skirts in the world. The Magical Enchantress skirt is huge, but it's so basic looking, you guys, compared to Modern Royal High. All of these skirts are really basic looking. The Large Train Burst skirt, also made by Salty Sheer, is not so bad. It still kind of goes with Modern Royal High, but these older ones, you guys, just do not fit with the Modern Royal High that we have today. And in my opinion, I think that it's getting to a point where people just aren't going to use them anymore. Now, the Magical Enchantress skirt has gone up a lot in value while people have been waiting for this. And as you guys know, since the sleep mask came out, the Magic Enchantress skirt has gone up in value again because people are thinking that, well, if the sleep mask rework is here, maybe the Magic Enchantress rework is coming too. Now, Salty Shia did not share with us the sleep mask rework on Twitter as far as I'm aware, but they did share with us the Magical Enchantress skirt rework. So we know for a fact that it is done. We know Barbie has received it and it really is now just at the point of waiting to see if she decides to release it. And personally, you guys, I really don't see any reason why she wouldn't. So, you're definitely going to want to head into the trading hub and go work on getting your stuff ready for trading it if you haven't already. Definitely go and wish to the fountain. You might get some extra diamonds, do your lucky spin wheel, make sure to sleep and level up, all that good stuff. And then if I were you guys, I would certainly be heading into the trading hub. Now, if you don't already have the Magical Enchantress skirt, it may well be worth you heading into the trading hub and trying to trade for it before it gets ridiculously expensive. It is already, of course, getting more expensive, you guys, but it is going to get only more expensive. If the skirt rework actually comes out, it will get even more expensive. You guys know how these things work. They always go the same way. But also, if you only have one Magical Enchantress skirt, it may be worth considering getting a second one or third one so that you can trade those away for money once 
items, they do become more expensive and worth more. Some people have said to me, oh, I've just got one. I'm going to trade that one away. But you don't know. The reworked skirt, the actual final version we haven't seen. The last version we saw, which we'll probably get on screen, is not actually the complete version. Shia did say that there is a more complete version that was sent to Barbie. So it would be a surprise. The skirt could end up being gorgeous and you might want to end up keeping it. So I personally would assume it would be a smart idea to have more than one and then you can trade those away for more diamonds. I think that in reality, the prices will go up a lot. If you guys go onto Trader right now, you'll see the current average price is 107,000 diamonds, which is definitely around the average that it's been for a while. It did drop for a little bit and since the rework hasn't actually come out, it has dropped down a little bit again. But I do believe you guys that this is going to shoot up, especially when people actually see the scare rework. As you can see, a lot of people right now are accepting like in the region of 115,000. That one was 200,000. They are certainly rising. Look, 150, 150, 115. They are definitely rising from that 107, you guys. There was a time when they were worth much, much less and they are definitely, definitely rising. And I think you guys should certainly, in my opinion, get on this while you can. Because if you don't, I would be surprised if you guys obviously get it for the price it's at right now. If the rework officially comes out, I can tell you guys with confidence it is going to end up being worth a lot. And personally, I don't think you should risk it. So if I were you guys, I would certainly go and grab it now. Tell the love let me know in the comments down below how many magical enchantress skirts you have and are you excited for the potential rework? I'm hoping that this will also release the rework of the fluttering butterfly set that we know that Matt Crystal completed a while ago. Please, Barbie, can we have that too? Barbie, please, we need it all. Yes, and also let me be able to do more with myself. I want to be able to be in the other arm sometimes so I can obviously go with more of these hairs. I agree. That would be so nice and I wouldn't have to just wear the same hair all the time, even though it is iconic. Anyways, you guys, let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are on all of this. Let me know if you think the skirt is coming and if you're excited about the release of it, if it does. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys lots. And just to let you know, when you're watching this, there's a good chance I'll be live on Twitch. You should come on over because I'm going to be giving away some more Roblox gift cards. The link is in the description to go and follow me. I love you guys lots, little beans. Goodbye.